we've been looking out the window probably every five minutes since last night, just out of instinct. Like, I just want to make sure he's not out there waiting. Only on to a disturbing sight. Parents in Owasso on high alert after they say they caught a man taking pictures of their daughter in front of their home. The incident sending panic and fear through the family after the encounter turned verbally aggressive. We were just pulled up, me and my other children. Cam Tofola says an ordinary day quickly turned into a nightmare. It was really scary. And I think the scariest part about it is knowing that the guy has our images. Tofola's 15 year old daughter, Zoe, was coming home from school when she spotted her mother in the driveway. She comes across the yard and she'd noticed me in the car and come over to the window, rolled it down. We started chatting about her day. But that chatter was interrupted when a man in a blue Cavalier pulled up to their house and began snapping pictures with his phone. The Tofolas monitored the situation until it became uncomfortable. And then he started taking pictures of her. Zoe says she confronted the man and his demeanor changed. I was scared, like nothing like that has ever happened. She says the man claims he wasn't taking pictures of the young girl, but instead was taking pictures of the house for the loan company Fannie Mae. But Zoe's mom wasn't buying it. He definitely was more focused on her um, and the way the candle angle was. Cam Tofola intervened and asked the man to stop, but she says he refused, claiming he was on official business. And that's when he proceeded to tell me, no, I'm from Fannie Mae. You're not authorized to know anything else. I have more rights to be here than you do. However, the Tafola's house loan isn't through Fannie Mae, and the company says they would never send anyone out to take pictures of your home without notifying you first. When the family demanded the man to leave, he called me a bee and got all aggressive with me and started taking more pictures. Eventually, police were called to the home and the man left. Owasso police say this isn't the first time they've heard this story and are familiar with the man. In fact, after posting about the horrifying incident on Facebook, the Tafolas learned several other people have experienced odd encounters with the man as well. Tonight, fear still surrounds the Tafola house. He has our address. He took pictures of my license. And more importantly, he took multiple pictures of her. They're just glad everyone is okay. The family says they want other parents in Owasso to be aware of this man. If you experience something similar, you're asked to please call police.